Hi, I'm Allegra McEvity from Turkish Delights and you are watching Sky Guide. I love food from all over the world, but there's something about cooking in this country that really gets me going. I'm on a journey to rediscover those flavours. Welcome to the Delights of Turkey. I've always loved Turkish food. My father was an historian and we were spent a lot of our time kicking around uh, Roman sites and particularly in Asia Minor or Turkey as it's now called. So my, my childhood was spent in summer holidays climbing over ruins and that sort of thing. So Turkey's been a part of my life um, ever since I was very little and this show has really given me the chance to go back and explore that, um, explore the flavours and I really I love Turkey more than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Today I'll be exploring Turkey's largest city, Istanbul. I'll be sampling chilies in the city's famous spice market. Very little because very hot this one and with ah! oil. As well as tucking into one of Turkey's greatest food exports. Oh my goodness, it's like treasure. And once I'm back in the UK, I'll be tempting you to try your hand at two classic Turkish recipes. Courgette fritters and a naughty baklava. There's a lot of culture as well as food in the show because for me, you know, food isn't, it's not just about ingredients to put on a plate, that's how some chefs cook, there's nothing wrong with that, but for me it always has to, I always have to have a reason, I want to know why those particular ingredients, why do they use that kind of, you know, whether it's ghee or butter or olive oil or argan oil or wherever you are in the world, people have the, you know, their own ingredients and you know, they came from a certain place, they brought their cooking with them. Turkey is particularly fascinating you know, because it's that little, you know, as you go across the Bosphorus, you cross from Europe to Asia. So, you know, for thousands of years, people have been going like this through Turkey, and some of them have stayed. And each time they stay, you get a different kind of food there. You get a few more ingredients from a different place, different influences. And that makes it, you know, you can't just say, it, you know, it's about kebabs, it's about kofta or meatballs or whatever. It's about all of these different influences that have come through. And, uh, you know, and you have to tell the story of those people. And that's why the culture thing is so crucial to me. It's a very key part of the jigsaw. Nanesh is, um, that's mint, isn't it? Mint. Yeah, and I, can I get some of that as well, please? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's peppermint. It's much fresher than anything we're going to get, much fresher tasting than anything we're going to get at home. I wanted the people in Turkey to know that I really was interested in, in their specific culture, their specific food, their cuisine. And I thought really the best way to show respect was by, by trying to learn Turkish. And I'm not very gifted at languages, but I took about two months worth of Turkish lessons just so I could say, you know, um, where's your bakery? Or I'd like some cumin, or I think that has too much salt in it, or whatever it was, just the basics. That spice bazaar is a bit of a bum fight, but the quality of the spices is just that much fresher than we see over here. And I always come away feeling a bit inspired. So I'm going to use some dried mint that I got and some Turkish chili flakes to make my mujve, my courgette fritters. I have been lucky in that I've cooked for, you know, some really great people. I've cooked for three James Bonds, um, a couple of presidents, a couple of prime ministers, quite a lot of royalty. Uh, but I have to say, really, for me, it's not about... Um, it's not about cooking for famous people. I'm, I'm not very celebrity based. I know that's deeply unfashionable to say, but that doesn't, what, what gets me is cooking for cooks that I really care about. So you know, these days, you know, I don't get phased for cooking for anybody apart from um, you know, like Claudia Rogan, who's one of my absolute food heroines. If she's, you know, if I know that she's going to be somewhere and I'm responsible for the meal, I will get very frantic um, by the end and a bit kind of jittery and like I've had too many coffees. <laughs>